If you are a senior or no one, then you're the one I'm talking to. I'm January Jones, and I'm a senior too. I'm here to help you deal with seniors who whine. Seniors and whining go together like prunes and constipation. Some seniors never find time to do anything but whine, especially about things that were better in the old days. One of the major complaints is usually about their incomes, which has often gone way down from what they were used to. People spend their entire lives waiting for the day they will have money to burn, and it never arrives because they've either run out or burned out too soon. When they grow old and intend to live on the dreaded fixed income, you find out quickly that it's awfully nice to get out of the rat race, but damned hard to get along with less cheese. Seniors also adore whining about their health, but can't seem to get around to doing anything to get better. The fact is, they will do anything to improve, except give up the problem. Besides, it's fun to whine with other seniors. Mortimer Collins once said, A man is as old as he's feeling, and a woman is as old as she looks. Now, isn't that the truth? Just like everybody else, seniors whine about money, or I should say the lack of money. Who hasn't heard? Where did it go? There's never enough. Money is a major issue at all ages, but it takes on a bigger importance to seniors, for whom the twilight years can easily slip into the twilight zone without the security of a proper nest egg. It is a good reason to whine. The problem is that all the fun things cost extra, so many seniors go without and then they whine about it. There's no easy cure. I have a humorous approach to dealing with money. Why not stop saving? <laughs> this could work for seniors because it's the perfect time in life to stop saving for a rainy day and start spending like it's pouring down buckets. The goal here is to run out of money on the day you die, or better yet, the day after. <laughs> I haven't quite figured out how to do this, but perhaps you could try to relax as you age and take some time to enjoy those flowers. We have to keep reminding ourselves to minimize our money worries and try to maximize all of the moments and memories that we will take with us. Aging is another major wine for seniors. Unfortunately, as Chili Davis eloquently reminds us, growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. As a senior myself, one of my favorite wines is about my aches and pains. Who hasn't said, I ache all over, I'm so crippled, or the classic, this isn't fun anymore. It's not fun to get old. No matter what anyone tries to tell you, it's a pain in the butt, and the hips, and the shoulders, and the neck, and the hands. And, well, you get the idea. The aches and pains that accompany the aging process are just a fact of life. On some days, just looking in the mirror and seeing some grumpy, old, unfamiliar person looking back at you can be devastating. Some days, I see my father's face and that can be really rough for me. <laughs> On the bright side, seniors can choose, and the choice is yours, to act any age you choose, even the age they remember as the best times of their lives. If you're 80 and that best time was 40 years ago, then be 40 again. No one can dictate how you feel on the inside or control how you act on the outside. Remember, you are the star of your own show, so make it a good one. It's time to start doing things that amuse, amaze, and astound you, rather than continue a cycle acti of activities that only make you feel older. Luckily, seniors don't have to impress anybody except themselves, unless they are still circulating in the dating world. <laughs> It's always fun to work on giving your heirs enough material for a really good, outrageous, humorous eulogy. Work on it. 
And while you're at it, always remember, stop whining, start smiling, and if that doesn't work, start having chocolate. Lots and lots of chocolate.